there, new to Euchres. This is an essential video if for skills that you need to become a ukulele player. You've got to know how to tune your ukulele. So I've got tips and tricks and tools and everything you need to know. So let's get started. When your strings are in tune, they will sound G, C, E, and A. And that's going from the top, closest to your face, down to the floor. I have a little phrase to help you remember that. Giants create enormous abundance. Yay! And you're just going to have to knuckle down and memorize those notes and the sequence that they're in. Trust me, you'll need it as a ukulele player. The first tool that you're going to need is something that you're going to have to buy, and it is a head tuner. Put it right onto your headstock. And that just, uh, this will make your life so much easier. I've had students come in with regular tuners and things like that, and they wind up getting rid of these because they really do work better. First of all, when you're in a group setting, it allows you to hear your instrument. And so I highly recommend they're not expensive. Um, I've had mine for years. It takes a beating, and it still keeps working just fine. The second tool that you need to get in order to tune your ukulele as a brand new player is an app that helps you tune your ukulele. I like Guitar Tuna, as in tuna fish, because once you set it up for a soprano C ukulele, then um, when you touch this, it, it sounds the string for you. And so after you work with your tuner, double check it with this just to see if your ear tells you, yeah, that's, that's, that's the same note, or if you're wildly off. And I have seen you wildly off in class, and so that's why I tell you, at this point, do a double check system, all right? Free. And, oh, and I don't, I'm not a sponsor or anything like that on it. Just, I happen to like this one. Time to get to know your tuning pegs. Your tuning pegs, located on the head of your ukulele, can make your strings sound higher or lower by simply turning them. So I'm playing my G string, and it just went up. And it just went way down. Now, not all ukuleles are set up the same. In fact, I purposely set mine up so that all the turns are uh, counterclockwise, because that makes sense to me. So if I go counterclockwise, it's going to raise it. But um, some ukuleles are set up so that these are for counterclockwise and these go clockwise. So you're going to have to do a little experimentation. Play around and see what they are and take notes. Make notes and again put that right, you know, with where you're going to be practicing along with the names of your strings. Okay? Let's get up close and personal with our headstock tuner. The first thing that you need to know is that the pegs on the ukulele headstock are uniform. So on the side that's closest to your face, it's always going to be in this sequence. The lowest one is the G and the top one is the C. And then on the bottom side of the ukulele, where it's closer to the floor, the top one's E and the next one's A. And that's true for all soprano, concert, and tenor ukuleles. All right, so this is your G string right here. Let's make sure this is on. And I'm going to show you what's gonna happen when you're when your ukulele is in tune, you're going to see that that line in the middle lights up. So that's good. And that's going to be the case then for each one of your strings. Now, if you're like me, I'm going to tweak this one a little. You might find on your E and A string that it's a little dicey. 
I have bright strings and so there's an attack and delay so you just kind of like ah there we go you have to be a little bit more patient to find that sweet spot and it might kind of go back and forth like that and there's my A and that's looking great okay so what happens if it's not in tune I'm gonna take my G string and I'll show you Ooh, that's so low it shows a different note There it is, in a G. Now, I turned this up slowly. I did not just crank it because there you run the risk of breaking the string. So instead of looking at just tuning your uke, you're going to have to look at replacing the string. And unless you carry extra strings around, that might take you a day or two to get fixed. Okay, so I started out low and I've just been gradually tuning. Now when it's low, you're going to see that your tuner is lighting up on the left hand side of the tuner and your color scheme might be different mine showing red and then wait till it gets up there to where that middle line is lighting up now what if you're too high I'm going to crank it slowly don't want our string breaking see where it's lighting up on the right hand side of the tuner so that is saying that it's sharp, it's too high. And so you crank it back down. Not so much trouble in cranking it back down. And there it goes into the G. Now again, experiment which way do your, do your tuning pegs turn. Make good notes, that'll really help you and save you frustration. Now let's go over the most common problem that I see that uh, is large scale. It means really your instrument will not sound like the others with a ukulele headstock tuner. So I have students that'll do this. They'll go, look, see my G's in tune. Why does it sound so terrible? Well, cause that's not really a G. If you notice really off to the side there, there's a small little number sign or hashtag. Well, that means that you're not playing a G, you're playing a G sharp, which is a totally different note. So I'm gonna go over the tips and tricks and why I use a backup system so that this doesn't happen to you. My first tip and trick for avoiding hideous sharp errors is to put your ukulele facing you when you're tuning it so you can look right at your headstock tuner because as you saw in the previous little section that that sharp is so tiny. And so if you're doing it this way, it gives you more of an idea like going like, oh, there's that G sharp, ooh. And then you can fix it right away before somebody goes, what the heck? So, so doing it that way, looking right at your headstock tuner, sitting it here instead of craning your neck around, that's a really good way. And so if you're using a tuning app, that will really help with that because then when you go to tune it and you hit this A and you play this, whoops, oops, I need another hand. Ooh, that's too high. Well, that's then if you encounter a problem like that, look carefully at that tuner. And if it's got a little hashtag after it, you have gone too high, so bring it back down. So let's see, uh, let's see if you can see that A sharp, getting the lighting right. And I'm gonna crank it down. You can't see it. Now we're getting into A territory, ah. And then you can bring it back up to A. Oops, I'm still going too sharp. There we go. Not used to doing it backwards for the camera. Still too high. Ah, oh, and see, my, uh, that's why having the backup really helps you because it's just, even with this on and doing this, it goes ding and tells you, hey, you're, you, you got it. So I really recommend for brand new players, use the two tool approach and then those big problems just go away. Okay, got you, you can tune. Let's do some playing. 
I hope that you found this instructional video useful to your growth as a ukulele player. Please hit like and subscribe and even better, leave a comment for me. I am told that there's algorithms and search engine things and all this kind of stuff on YouTube that will make it easier for other aspiring ukulele players to find this video. Thanks so much and I hope you're having a great time playing your ukulele.